man up. It's game time. Everybody stand up. Hello, everyone. Justin Rodriguez here with the Varsity 845 Football Show, the Section 9 Championship Edition. We're going to break down all five games in classes AA, A, B, C, and D. It should be a great weekend of football at Kingston's venerable Dietz Stadium. Let's start off in AA. Monroe Woodbury is back in the final after a one-year absence. The Crusaders' opponent, Pine Bush, is new to the party. The Bushmen are playing in the AA title game for the first time in school history. But Pine Bush comes in with a full head of steam, defeating Menacing Valley 27-0 in the semifinals. Meanwhile, Monroe Woodbury escaped with a 14-13 win over Warwick in the other semifinal. Quarterback Kevin Carr hit Ken Fee on a two-yard score with a minute 35 remaining to send the Crusaders to the title game. Check out the play for the ages. After the game, we talked to Fee. They gotta give it up to Kevin, great pass. Uh, I was just staying focused, blocked everything out, tuned everything out, and just saw the ball go into my hands, caught it, brought it down, and we got the touchdown. Um, some big plays from Calf, fourth down going in at quarterback. is just remarkable to have him get that first down, not really getting a lot of reps at quarterback. And you know, we just never gave up, never quit on ourselves, and went down the field 90 yards for a touchdown. On Pine Bush's side, we talked to bruising offensive lineman Matt McCaffrey, a big part of Pine Bush's success. This is what Matt had to say about facing off with Monroe Woodbury. I'm excited for the game. should be a good game, and I think uh, it all comes down to the trenches like it has all year. If we can dominate in the trenches, we look pretty good. On to Class A, where once again it's Cornwall versus Walkhill. Talk about a supercharged game. This is the sixth straight time the teams have met for the A Championship. Cornwall has won four of the five title matchups, including last year, 28-14. But that game broke a three-game losing skit against Walkhill. Cornwall defeated Walkhill earlier this season 38-24. I expect this game to be much closer. Here's what quarterback Mike White had to say about another showdown with Walkhill. I mean, I guess it feels good because knowing that we got some, uh, some competition coming up and uh, we got to work hard, real hard in practice this week, and then uh, focus on Walkhill and do what we got to do to beat them. Cornwall running back Luke Zito also chimed in on Walkhill. The Walkhill Cornwall games are the best games of the year, and we wait for those the whole year. So, and then you put it in section, the section finals, and that's much better. So, I mean, we just live for those type of games. Up next, Class B, where Marlboro meets Spack and Kill for the second year in a row for the title. This has the makings of a great game. It always seems to be when these two hard-hitting teams go at it. Marlboro defeated Spack and Kill 14-7 for the championship last year. The Iron Dukes added a 21-14 win over Spack and Kill this season. So obviously, another close game is in the cards. Marlboro linebacker Matt Tambori talked about Spack and Kill, the rematch. I expect a real good game at Spack and Kill. Every time we play them, they come out hard, and we just gotta play our game to try and win another championship. In Class C, James I. O'Neill, coming off a blowout win over Sullivan West in the semifinals, is the favorite over Liberty. O'Neill defeated Liberty 21-0 back in September. But this is a different Liberty team, winners of six in a row and relishing the underdog role. As the underdog, O'Neill beat previously undefeated Burke Catholic in last year's Class C final. So we know the way Liberty's playing and what O'Neill experienced last year, they're not taking anyone lightly. O'Neill quarterback Keegan West, who lit up Sullivan West for 317 yards and five touchdowns, talked about the championship game. I know what to expect, but we got to play either Liberty or Milbert. I'm not sure who's winning, but I mean, either one, they're both very competitive teams. They'll both know how to play the game. And, you know, we got our hands full. We got to come out and have the best week of practice we've had all year. And, uh, you know, like I said, luckily we've been there, so we know what to expect. It's still, we got to come out ready to play. And finally, Class D. Chester, the two time defending champ, is an overwhelming favorite over Eldred. Only two weeks ago, Chester defeated an undermanned Eldred team 41 0. But keep in mind, this is another rivalry game with lots of history, so don't expect Eldred to roll over. I still like Chester. Chester running back Lawrence Young talked about the expectations of the Eldred game. We expect to win against Eldred. I mean, we've been practicing, we've been training for them for several weeks now, and we just want to win. We want to win sections and go on beyond that. Chester was the Class D state runner-up last season. So for the Hamiltonians, this is just hopefully the start of a long run through the playoffs. Chester lineman Chris Whittakine explained. 
The goals of Chester are to win. There's no mediocrity in the program at all. Uh, like I said, our goal is to win, and every team's dream is to go to the Dome and make a state championship run. But uh, we did that last year. We were there. We were runner-ups. And, uh, you know, like this year, we expect nothing less but to be back up there, you know. Okay, everyone, that's it for this show. I'd like to send a special shout-out to Varsity 845's William Montgomery for contributing footage for this week's show. This is Justin Rodriguez signing off for the Varsity 845 football show. And remember, check out our coverage all week on Varsity845.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at JustinRod845. Enjoy the championship game. Varsity man up, it's game time, everybody stand up From my town to yours, we ready for sure From the field to the court, yeah, we ready for good This is 845, Varsity man up, it's game time Everybody stand up, from my town to yours We ready for sure, from the field to the court, yeah, we ready for war I said it's game time, so it's time to score If you're not playing to win, then what you playing for? From the field to the hardwood floor, win some and lose some Just give it your all, whether it's basket, base or football It's all American, it's on when the season's here again PYP, gotta play your position Gotta go hard, give it a hundred and ten Fans cheering in the stands, yeah, you gotta this love it 845, Varsity man up, it's game time Everybody stand up for my town and yours We're ready for sure, from the field to the court, yeah, we ready for war This is 845 Varsity man up, it's game time Everybody stand up for my town and yours Be ready for sure, from the field to the court Yeah, ready for war